day. I'm still driving. Look at this guy grading the shoulder. He smooths the shoulder and makes it very lovely so that when you drive on it, there's no dips and valleys and all that. Because we've had a lot of rain and I guess it gouges the shoulder sometimes. Okay, well here I am on my way into town. video people because that's a privacy act in Canada. I don't think it's like that in America. I think you can video anyone you darn well want. So here we are waiting at the sign. You know that right beyond this is a road. Just right there, straight through. And they won't they won't make a road right through there. It would be so simple you could avoid all this other stuff. But why spend money to make people allow people to avoid spending money in your stores? Although the, it gets pretty busy in this town, it would be nice, you know, not all the traffic that went through this town had to stop or had to be there, so it's just not good stuff. Strawberries are for sale these days, but they want $10 for a 4 4 basket. It's something that costs everywhere, $10 for a 4 4 basket. I would, I would go and pick my own, but does this white hair mean anything to you? Anything at all. There's, there's blonde in with it. That's why it looks blonde. It kind of looks blonde because there's strawberry blonde stuff in it. Okay. Now we have a stop plate. You know, if you've got a long line of people at a stoplight, the best thing to do is get in the other lane. You can always go a little bit faster, especially if there's a truck or something in that lane. You can always go a little bit faster and pass them all. You see, isn't that smarter? pass them if I want to, but I'm going this way. So here we go. We're going to Canadian Tire today. Going in there. That's Canadian Tire. I'm not allowed to video inside stores. People all have these rules about things like this. But while they change my oil, hopefully they're not busy yet. Because it's a Monday morning and who goes to the store on a Monday morning? But boy, looking at that parking lot, it looks full. What are they doing out there? I like a little town because there's not many people around. If you go to a big city, everywhere you go, there's cars and cars and people on the parking in the parking lots of the malls. And you have to park far away and walk forever, and then you come out and you can't find your car. Well, maybe you can find your car. I have a little technique. I always park right along the edge of the place where it says, you know, fire lane. Well, I park there because they're going to take my car next. Look at all those people in there. I wonder if they're going to be able to do it. Look at these kayaks. Isn't they nice? Look at that. $299 for a kayak. I should get one for my husband. Now this other person has the same idea as me. Look at where they parked. Right there. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. I know all these ladies that work here. They're very nice ladies. So I guess parking here is probably not going to work very well because, you see, I'm not the first one. Usually I'm on the edge. And there's somebody in there getting their oil changed right now, and then there's somebody else waiting. You see, this is cottage country, and during the summer in cottage country, people are here in the rest of the summer, in the rest of the year. It's pretty empty. Okay, I have my laptop in the car, see? So I'm just going to hide it there a little bit and I'm going to lock my car up and I'm going to go inside see if they can do this. I hope they can. Okay, 